Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of my biggest issues with Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 and the way that it was written and structured. Like a lot of my other videos as of late, this video will contain spoilers for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. You have been warned, spoilers are ahead, and also I will not be able to show any images from part two in today's video aside from promo material so keep that in mind as well and i suppose last little disclaimer here as i'm sure all of you know all of the episodes of part two are out in circulation right now thanks to the leak brought to us by the streaming service known as peacock Okay, with all of those disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about my biggest issue with part two. And this is something that I have alluded to in previous videos, but I do not care for the idea that every single thing needs to be a mystery in the context of Dragons Rising. Now with mysteries in Dragons Rising, we still have a lot that we do not know. We still have no idea how the merge started, despite being told that it was because of Master Wu. How exactly did the merge start? We have no idea. We we still have no idea who the master of Lord Rass is. That is also a mystery that has been hanging over our heads for the longest time. And now following Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2, one of the biggest questions is what exactly happened with Jay? How come last time we saw him, he was working with the administration and now suddenly he is a part of the Wolf Clan? Why did we not see any of that in Part 2? Why was it sprung on us just like a surprise? And again, I very clearly have a problem with this, but first, I get what they were going for here. I understand that it's supposed to be a surprise and not in the good way. Essentially, the audience has the same perspective as the ninja, right? Jay being in the Tournament of Sources was not only a surprise to the ninja, but also the audience. And in the same way that Nia, Lloyd, and the others were shocked and kind of upset by Jay's appearance here, I get that the audience is supposed to feel the same way. But if that was the case, if the writers truly wanted us to have the ninja's perspective, we would not have seen Jay prior. We've seen Jay in little glimpses every now and then before his appearance here in season two, part two. We saw him back during season one. We saw glimpses and teases of him in season two, part one. If they truly wanted us to be fully shocked by Jay's appearance here, Again, they would not have showed Jay at all in previous seasons. This would have been the first time we saw Jay, but since they decided to tease us with it and skip the buildup, let's talk about why that does not work. Now, like I said, we do have some mysteries going on in Dragons Rising currently. Again, the merge, Lord Rass's master. We do have some questions that have not been answered, and these questions will probably not be answered for several more seasons, maybe even several more years. But for the case of some of these questions, I feel like it's okay to keep the mystery long running. But for something like Jay, again, that doesn't necessarily work. I feel like later on in Dragons Rising Season 3, we will see flashbacks featuring Lord Rass recruiting Jay, training him with Shatterspin, convincing him to join, and ultimately turning him against the ninja, but we did not see that here, and I feel like that was a pretty major missed opportunity. Because it does not lend itself to a coherent narrative. It's better in theory, not so much in execution. On paper, it makes sense. Jay is here. Why is he here? We will answer that later. But again, for some things it works, for Jay, not so much. Not everything needs to be a mystery, you know? With all of the villain stuff happening off screen, it feels like as a viewer, I missed something. I feel like I missed an entire season in between part one and part two of season two, or maybe even a series of shorts or something like that featuring Jay joining the Wolf Clan, but I did not miss anything. That context is just not there. And since we've been following Jay from an outside perspective, again, the sudden reveal of him being here without any proper buildup, that doesn't really work as well as it might have seemed, on paper at least. Not only that, but some certain plot points in Season 2 Part 2 suddenly make less sense, like with Aaron's best friend Frack, who is also a part of the Wolf Clan, who is also a big fan of the ninja, why didn't he recognize Jay or say anything about Jay? Maybe Lord Rass was keeping Jay and Frack apart, but if they're all here as one team, it seems likely that they would have crossed paths at some point, right? I, 
I have no idea. Who's to say? Now, I'm complaining about this quite a bit, but what should they have done? Well, like I've alluded to in previous videos, what they should have done is they should have dedicated an entire episode to Season 2 Part 2, maybe before the tournament, to the progress of the Wolf Clan and Lord Rass finding Jay, recruiting Jay. Maybe it could have been revealed that Rass had always had his eye on Jay, but never acted until now. Again, just dedicate a whole episode to it. Build up to that and let the audience look in and see the buildup happening. We would see Jay transition himself more and more into the Wolf Clan, learning Shatterspin, understanding what the Wolf Masks do, eventually leading to the final pin drop where he sees the ninja in the tournament. We as an audience could have looked in, saw all the buildup, and we could have started dreading the eventual face-off between Jay and the ninja, because we knew that it was coming, but it would have been more impactful if we saw it play out in real time. The buildup could have set us on this collision course that we are ultimately dreading, and when it eventually does happen, when Jay does eventually meet up with the ninja, like we saw in part two, it would have hit hard. Now, granted, it still hit hard in the actual season itself. The battle between Jay and Neo was not easy to watch in the best way possible, but I can't help but feel like it would have been more impactful if we knew where Jay was coming from, if we saw all of this build up happening in real time, like I've said. Now, overall, I understand what Dragon's Rising is doing, and since Dragon's Rising is a serialized series, every single season contributes to the overall main story that the entire series is trying to tell, I understand understand why some things are not addressed, why some things are proposed, but the answers do not come until much later. I get that, I understand that, and I don't have any grudges towards the Ninjago Dragons Rising writers, quite the contrary. I feel like what they're doing with the mystery thing is impactful and it does work in some cases, but in the case of Jay, I don't know, it just feels like I'm missing something here. I'm missing important context, and I hate that feeling. That's why I've been referring to season two as both overwhelming and underwhelming. It's overwhelming because we suddenly have all of these plot points at once fighting for attention and fighting for relevancy, and it's underwhelming because we don't really get any questions answered here. Now, with that being said, season two, part two does end with Jay leaving the tournament, but now Kai and Nia are going after him, trying to catch up with him wherever he might be, and I'm sure we will see some flashbacks later on. I would love for there to be a whole episode dedicated to Jay's history since the merge, where it showcases everything that's happened up until this point, and in a way, I kind of feel like that's needed, because if we just brush it off with being told what happened instead of being showed what happened, again, that would just be extremely underwhelming. But overall, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just wanted to very quickly talk about my big biggest issue with season two part two, which essentially just involves Jay and the mystery aspect that Dragons Rising appears to be very much in love with. Like I said, I feel like it works well for some concepts, not so much for others, but leave all of your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me in terms of what I said in today's video, or do you disagree? Either is fine. Just feel free to leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And like I said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys did enjoy this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.